Hello and welcome to your weekday vinyasa class. We're going to begin seated comfortably on the mat. So get yourself arranged however you need to. Any comfortable posture will do. Just begin to allow your body to melt right into the spot where you sat it. I invite you to close your eyes, breathe in, breathe out, relax the shoulders down the back, and soften through the jaw and the forehead. Feel the sitting bones against the mat to the floor and the warmth of your hands resting on your knees or wherever you have found them placed this morning. On your next exhale, press out as much air as you can, squeezing the belly in, eliminating all the air from the bottom part of the lungs, preparing for a deep inhale, fill all the way up. Keep sipping in more air at the top, expanding the lungs to their full capacity, maybe 1% more. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Continue to breathe deeply, sending the inhales deep into the belly, and extending the exhales out through the nose. Allowing your awareness and attention to arrive into your space. And exhaling out all distractions. We'll spend another moment here in a meditative beginning not needing to do anything active, just be. Notice the pattern of your thoughts. Notice where you might be holding some tension in the body or the heart. We don't need to do anything about it or fix it or try to ignore it. Just acknowledge what's going on inside at the moment. Send a breath into whatever has come up for you. Bring that awareness, that acknowledgement. And as you exhale through, allowing that awareness to just dissipate like the breath out through the nose. Take another big deep breath in. Open up, exhale out. Blink open the eyes. And we'll start with some seated spinal circles. So slowly beginning to create some circles around the tailbone, rotating in a circle one direction. creating a little bit larger circle each rotation. And then gently coming to stop and turn the other way. So reverse direction, starting big circles this time. And slowly each revolution getting a little bit tighter in with the circles. Rocking on the sitting bones, and circling the tailbone until you're just barely swaying. Coming to stillness, press the sitting bones down, lift through the belly, lengthen through the spine. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, clasp the fingertips at the top, relax the shoulders. 
Lengthen down through the spine, reach up with the fingers, exhale, tilt towards the right, lifting through the left armpit, pulling that left shoulder back, finding a side body stretch. Keep pressing the lift hip down. Inhale back to center, release the hands, clasp the fingertips at your low back. Inhale, draw the hands down the spine as you squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release, drop the chin. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead again. Collapse the fingertips. Press the sitting bones down, reach the heart up, reach the fingertips up. And exhale, bend to the left, pulling that right shoulder open, pressing the right hip down, finding a stretch in the right side body. Keep lifting through both sides as you curve a little bit more towards the left on your exhales. One more breath in here. On your next breath in, come back up. Exhale, release the hands in front of you. So clasp the hands together. Exhale them down in front of you. Exhale, press the back of the heart towards the back of the room. Press the, the palms forward as you curl in on your exhale. Inhale, release. Release the hands down towards the ankles, towards the feet. And take a few shoulder rolls, inhaling up and towards the ears, exhaling down the back. And then take that left arm across your chest. Hook the right arm over to give it a squeeze, just pressing out through that left shoulder. You can even tilt your head towards the right, same direction as the arm. Take a breath in. Slow motion exhale. Inhale, bring the head back to center. Gently release that arm and switch sides. Bring the right arm across your chest. Hook that left arm around. Pull that arm in, you'll feel a stretch in the shoulder. Deep breath in, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, maybe dropping the left ear towards the left shoulder. As you breathe here in the stretch. Inhale, the head back upright, gently release. Inhale, reach the arms back behind you like you're preparing to fly. Exhale, curl the spine as you press the palms together. Inhale, bring the arms up, palms together. Exhale, bring the hands down through heart center. Take a breath in here, closing the eyes or dropping the gaze towards the tops of the fingertips. Open mouth, exhale to release. Bring the hands to the mat and make your way to a wide-legged child's pose. Knees to the edges of the mat, big toes touching. Hips lower over the heels, lower the chest to the mat, the forehead or the chin. Arms extended forward, take two rounds of breath here. <sighs> Bringing that awareness, that focus back inward. Preparing the body for movement. <sighs> Slowly begin to come back to hands and knees, tabletop position. And extend the left arm long in front of you and the right leg back behind you, balancing, tucking the belly in, pressing out through the heel, reaching out through the fingertips. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, curl it in, tiger stretch, elbow to knee, curl the spine. Inhale to re-extend. We'll just do that one more time. Exhale, curl it in, elbow to knee. Inhale to extend. And then bend the knee, draw the heel in towards the glute. Reach that left arm around to reach for the foot. Maybe grab it if you've got it. Press up through the hip, lifting the foot in the hand. Kind of like a bow and arrow here, nice and strong. Press the foot away as you pull with your hand. Deep breath in. Slowly release, extending back out, planting the hand and the knee back down. Take a round of cow, dropping the belly, lifting the gaze. Exhale into cat, curling the spine, tucking the chin. 
Coming back to neutral spine, we'll take the other side. Extend the right arm long in front of you like you're shaking hands. Extend the back left leg long. Press out to the heel, reach out through the fingertips, making yourself long. Exhale, curl it at knee to elbow. Find that cat like that. Inhale to re-extend. Stopping if you need to, to regain some balance, some focus. Exhale, curl it at knee to elbow. Curl the spine, tuck the chin. Inhale to extend. Draw that left heel towards the left glute. Reach that right arm around, reach for the foot. If you've got it, great. If you don't, great. Press the foot into the hand or keep reaching and tucking the heel. Look forward, deep breath in. Slowly release, no slingshots. Gentle release back to the extension. Lower the hand, lower the knee. Take a round of cow. Inhaling, dropping the belly, lifting the tailbone. Exhaling to cat. Take another round or two, adding in any extra organic movements. Use this time to tune in to the spine. What does it mean to keep warming up? Feel free to play around, use movement to wake it up, keep things moving. Maybe some neck stretches. Take two or three more rounds of breath to wake up and open in any way that feels good to you this morning. And then we're gonna gently press up into downward facing dog whenever you're ready. If you're coming from tabletop, tuck the toes under. Firm the hands onto the mat, suction cup the, the palms, fingertips pressing into the mat, fingers spread wide, lift the knees. Send the hips back over the heels, and then begin to lengthen through the legs as you lift the tailbone. Chest press towards the thighs. Keep a little bend in your knees here. Neck is relaxed. First downward dog. Look between your hands, and just hang out here for a breath. Bringing your awareness to that space at the top of the mat. Eventually, we're going to make our way there. Keep pressing up through the back of the hips, through the tailbone. And then look towards the top of the mat. Take your left foot and step to the outside of your left hand. And your right foot follows. Right foot comes to the outside of the right hand for yogi squat malasana. So as you drop your hips between your heels, you can press your elbows into your knees. Keep the feet flat, so lift your hips as much as you need to keep your feet on the mat. Press the left hand down onto the mat. Reach the right arm up for a stretch. Exhale, lower it back down. Switch sides. Right hand comes to the mat. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale it down. Take that one more time. Left hand to the mat. Extend the right arm up, opening the heart towards the ceiling. Exhale, switch. Inhale, left arm lifts and opens. Exhale it back down, coming back to Malasana, palms together. Two breaths here, either close your eyes or find a spot in front of you to focus on. Bringing that awareness back inward. And then plant your hands and step back to plank. High or top of a push-up, high plank. Shoulders over wrists, heels lifting, core is tight. One more breath in here, lower the knees. Lower the forearms to the mat. Elbows in line with the shoulders. And then we're going to gently pop up into forearm plank. So tuck the toes, lift the knees. Forearm plank. Lengthen through the tailbone and the top of the head. Squeeze the belly button towards the low spine. One more breath in here. Exhale, lower the knees. Shift the hips over the heels. Child's pose. Use this time to come back to the breath. Exhaling out any judgments or should-haves or 
too much praise even. It is what it is. Be in the moment. Inhale, coming up to tabletop. Take a breath here. We're going to meet back in downward facing dog. Tuck the toes. Send the hips back as you lift through the tailbone. Fingertips spread wide. Find your downward dog. And then pedal out the heels, lowering one heel, bending the opposite knee. Maybe adding a little hip twist in there. Deep breath in. Exhale, come to stillness in your downward dog. Look towards the top of the mat and tiptoe to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins or your thighs, lengthening through the spine, straight back. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees as much as you need to allow the belly to rest onto the thighs. Head hangs heavy, arms lengthen towards the mat. And then press the feet into the mat, slowly roll up to stands. Taking as much time as you can, allowing the shoulders, the neck, and the head to be the last to lift. Finding your mountain pose, be firm in the feet, pressing all four corners down into the mat. Slight tuck of the tailbone, ground into the low body, so exhaling down into the earth, and then inhaling, cycling that breath up, back through the spine. Spin the inner thighs forward, Feel strong in your lower body, in your lower stance. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, cactus arms like goalposts, dropping the elbows to about 90 degrees. Inhale, back up. Exhale to mountain, palms down at your side. Take a breath. Focus your gaze, focus your attention. And then shift the weight to the left foot. And begin to bend into the right knee, coming into one-legged mountain. So drawing that right knee up. Keep the left foot planted. Press the right hip down, the left hip up to balance and keep the hips level. Palms can be facing forward. If you need a little bit more stability, go ahead and grab onto your hips. If you want a little bit more challenge, you can bring your hands to heart center. Or like in tree pose, lifting the arms up overhead. We'll be here for just another minute. Stay where you're at. Right knees lifted. And then exhale, begin to tilt forward as you send that right leg to the back of the mat, high lunge. Bending to the left knee, hips and shoulders are square towards the top of the mat. Work towards lengthening that back leg. You might still have a little bend in it, that's all right. Bending into that front knee, you'll feel the stretch in your front hip flexor. Exhale, cactus your arms. Dropping the elbows as far as you can. Inhale, reaching them up. And then exhale, planting your hands on either side of your foot. Runner's lunge. Two breaths here. Stay focused. Stay breathing. And then inhale, step to curtsy. So the back right foot is going to hop forward behind the left foot to the left of the mat. So kind of crossing your legs. Right foot is now on the left side of the mat. Bring the hands back behind you like airplane arms, fold it over. Breathe in here. Stay for the exhale. And one more inhale. You got this. And then inhale to stand, bringing the arms up with you. Feet come together. Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees, dive forward over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, heel toe the feet apart, find ragdoll pose, hanging onto either elbow, letting the upper body fall between the legs, let the head hang heavy. You can take a gentle sway left and right here. On an inhale, release the elbows, heel toe the feet back together. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, fold, plant the hands. Step back to downward facing dog. Deep breath in, slow exhale. Shift forward to plank. Bring the weight over the hands, top of a push up. Lower the knees, untuck the toes, lower to the belly, take a cobra pose. Elbows squeeze in, tops of the feet press into the mat. Inhale, lift the chest. Lift the chin, look up. Exhale, press up and back to child's pose. Inhale to downward facing dog. Then look towards the top of the mat, tiptoe to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to stand, roll the spine up. This time bring the arms up with you. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, find mountain, standing firm. Taking a few rounds of breath to cycle that energy down into the earth, back up through you. Spin the inner legs forward. Press the four corners of the feet into the mat. Find a firm stance. When you feel grounded and stable, shift the weight to the right foot. Begin to lift that left knee up parallel to the mat. Palms facing forward or anywhere that feels comfortable. Again, if you need that challenge, bring the hands to the heart or lift them up overhead. Keep pressing down through the foot, lengthening up through the spine. We'll be here for one more breath in. Exhale, begin to shift your weight forward, reaching that left leg back until you come into a high lunge. Sweep the arms up overhead when you get there. Pull the left hip forward and the right hip back, lengthening through the back leg, deepening into that front bend. Inhale, lengthen up through the arms. Exhale, cactus arms deep down. Press the elbows down. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, frame the front foot with your hands, coming to runner's lunge. Two breaths here. Keep pulling the left hip back, or the left hip forward, right hip back, rather. Preparing for curtsy, shift the weight forward, and take that left foot to the outside of the right foot, off the mat even. Curtsy pose, so crossing the legs, right leg behind the left, out to the side, bring the arms up back behind you, cactus or airplane arms. Press the fingertips back, reaching through the crown of the head, finding that halfway lift feeling. And pressing down into the foot, we're gonna come back up to mountain. So inhale, reach it up, step the left foot forward, inhale, reach up. Exhale to mountain, hands to either side. And then we'll make our way back down. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold, send the hips back, diving forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, heel toe the feet apart, take ragdoll pose. Switching the crossing of your arms this time, deep bend in the knees. Let everything hang over. <sighs> Maybe let out a big sigh. And then while you're down there, plant the hands and step back to high plank. Lower the knees, child's pose, untuck the toes, hips over heels, forehead to the mat. Two rounds, a deep, slow breath here in our child's pose. And take a internal inventory, of how you're feeling. from the inside out. Notice the rhythm of your breath. Begin to synchronize your movements with the inhales and the exhales. As we shift up and forward, lowering onto our belly. Draw the fingertips next to the chest, squeeze the elbows in. Cobra pose, tops of the feet press into the mat, lift the hearts. 
Breath in here. Exhale, lower the forehead to the mat. Extend the arms next to you, palms facing up. Bring the big toes together, preparing for locust pose. On an inhale, lift the chest, lift the toes. And squeeze the shoulder blades together, press the shoulders away from the ears, and begin to lift the hands off the mat. If accessible, you can clasp the fingertips together at your low back and pull the shoulders down, lifting up a little bit higher. Deep breath in, lift a little. Exhale, slow motion release. Lowering the forehead to the mat. Allow the shoulders to roll down the side of the body. We'll take that locust pose one more time. Bring the chin to the mat, big toes to touch. Press the fingertips towards the heels. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the toes, lift the hands. Clasp them at your low back if you're taking that variation. Inhale, lift a little higher. Open the heart. Deep breath in. Exhale, slow release down. Bring your hands next to your chest, press up and back to tabletop, hands and knees. Take a few rounds of cat and cow, curling and arching the back with your breath. And then we'll make our way to downward facing dog, tuck the toes, lift the knees, send the hips back. Lengthen through the spine, release the neck. Look between your hands and take your right foot forward between your hands, finding that runner's lunge. One breath in here. Exhale, spin that back heel down to warrior one. So your left toes are facing the left edge of the mat, front toes facing forward. Inhale to ground down. Exhale, lift up. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to sink into that one, warrior one. Hang out here for just a couple breaths. Exhale, bring the hands to either side of your foot. Step forward to forward fold. Inhale to chair, drop the hips. Slight tuck of the tailbone, open the heart. Knees are over your ankles. You should be able to tip, wiggle your toes just a little bit. Most of the weight is in the heels. Hold it here, deep breath in. Exhale, bring your hands together at heart center. One more breath in, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, step that left foot back so right foot is still forward. Bring your hands to the inside of the right leg for lizard pose. Two breaths here. And then step that right foot back to plank, lower to your forearm plank. So coming to the forearms, elbows underneath your shoulders. From here, we're moving to dolphin pose. Walk the toes in as you lift your hips. Keep the shoulders in their sockets, release the head towards the earth. Tiptoe forward as much as you need. So strengthening through the upper body. Walk the toes back. To your forearm plank, lower the knees, child's pose. Find your rest here, recalibrate with your breath. And when you're ready, pop back up into downward facing dog. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, tailbone lifts, chest press towards your thighs. Look between your hands, step the left foot forward this time till you come to your high lunge, or your runner's lunge, rather. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, spin that right heel down, warrior one. When you feel firm in the lower body, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, settle in, bend into that front knee. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, lower into that knee. Two breaths here. And exhale, bring your hands down to the mat, finding a lunge, coming to lizard on the other side. So bring both hands on the inside of the left foot, maybe heel toe that left foot to the edge of the mat. 
Two breaths here. Pull the left hip back, right hip forward. And then send the left foot to the back of the mat. Finding your high plank. Lower to your forearms, forearm plank. Preparing for dolphin. If dolphin was too much, feel free to stay here in your forearm plank or any other variation that you can hold for a few breaths. When you're ready, lift the tailbone, walk the toes in. Pressing the hips up towards the sky, press the shoulders over the elbows. Relax the neck, relax the head, you've got this. Walk the toes back, lower the knees, child's pose. Take a breath, or two or five. Let the sweat drip down the forehead. On your exhale, let the tailbone release towards the earth. And on an inhale, come to your belly. Finding again, cobra pose. Palms in line with your chest. Zip the elbows in, tops of the feet, press into the mat as you inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, release, forehead to the mat. Inhale, up and back, Mumi and downward facing dog. Look between the hands, tiptoe towards the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to stand, press the heels into the mat, curl the spine like you're riding a wave. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, mountain. Inhale, sweep the arms back up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands. Step the right foot to the back of the mat. Warrior one, plant the right heel down. Inhale, reach it up. Sink it into that lunge. Tick tock that left hand down. We're gonna take a revolve twist here. So left hand tick tocks back. Turn your gaze over the back shoulder. Right arm reaches forward. Drop the left arm back, reach the right arm up. And then exhale, cartwheel your hands to frame your front foot. Lift that back heel into your runner's lunge. Step forward to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to chair, drop the hips, lift the arms. Just here for a breath. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, step back to downward facing dog. If you'd like to lower through cobra or up dog, feel free to take that extra movement. We'll meet in downward dog when you're ready. Look between your hands, tiptoe or step towards the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to chair, drop the hips, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, step the left foot back this time, warrior one. Spin that back heel down. Exhale, ground down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, settle in. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, tick tock that right hand down and back, revolving as you twist towards the right. Look over the back right shoulder. Drop the right arm, reach the left arm up. Exhale, cart with your hands to frame the front foot. Lift the back heel, coming to your runner's lunge. Step forward, halfway left. Exhale, fold. Inhale to stand. Exaggerate the curl as you reach up. Exhale to mountain. Finding a firm stance at the top of the back. Bring your awareness to the body. Feel what the floor, your mat feels like under your feet. Close the eyes. Sense the heartbeat in the breath. Follow the drips of sweat pooling from your forehead down your face. Unless that's just me, hopefully not. Hopefully you're working out there. <sighs> Exhale it out. Inhale, blink open the eyes.
shift the weight to the left foot. We're going to play around with dancer pose here. So shifting the weight to the left foot, begin to bring that right knee up and cup your hand like you've got some water in it. Stand this way so you can see. And you don't want to drop what's in your hand, so keep your palm cupped like this and bring your ankle or your foot into that palm. So your hand is going to be inside of the foot, close between your foot and your hip. Once you've got that, practice on your balance. Ground down through the left side. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Bring that right arm up when you're ready. If you fall out, it's okay. Just find your dancer again. Hips are level here. This is a closed hip pose. So as you tilt forward, keep the knees somewhat together. So shifting the weight forward, keep grounding down through the foot. Like we practiced before in our, loca or in our earlier in the practice with the foot and the hand, reach forward as you press your foot into the right hand. Keep practicing, find steady gaze, keep the knees together, hips are squared towards the top of the mat. Reach forward with the left hand, lengthening through the left leg, when you're ready to come up, inhale the left arm up, right knee back down. Release the foot, release the arm. Take a deep breath in, you did it. Exhale, let it go. Shake it out if you need. Roll the shoulders. Get ready for the other side. All right, shift the weight to the right foot. Take the palm, little cup of water or snacks, whatever, whatever can get you to remember to hold that palm like that. Weight is in the right foot, begin to lift the left knee. Draw the left heel in towards the glute. And just cup the foot into the left hand. Bring the knees together, bring the right arm up. Find a steady gaze in front of you. Press down through the right foot, hold on to that left foot. Lengthen through the spine, begin to tilt forward, as you press the left knee back and the right arm forward, balancing on that right foot. Keep reaching forward as you press into that left hand. Keep your gaze. Stay with the unsteadiness. Keep reaching forward. Keep the knees squeezing in towards each other. It's okay if your left leg or your right leg doesn't bend. Straighten all the way. Remember, it's about how it feels, not how it looks. Keep breathing. Keep grounding down, lengthening through the spine, up. Reach out. One more breath in here. Stay for the exhale. Slowly come back up. Release the foot. Release the arm. Bring the palms to heart center and stand quietly with the eyes closed. A moment to let the body reflect. Tune into the breath. The dancer pose is mythologically named after one of the three main Hindu gods. One is responsible for creation one for sustaining the world, sustaining those creations. And the third is representative of destruction that must come in order for new things. And dancer pose is an ode to that third God, Shiva, allows us to dance in and honor changes, disruptions, things happening within us to prepare for new and better life. So as you stand here, post dancer pose, maybe feeling elated for feeling good in the pose, maybe feeling a little frustrated, if you were falling out of it, somewhere in between, just recognize those emotions, breathe into them to recognize, Exhale to release. 
Like open the eyes, relax the palms on either side. And we'll close it out with another, another sun salutation. So at the top of the mat, inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Take a little back bend here, press the hips forward, reach up and back. Exhale, forward fold, diving forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, step back to high plank or lower your knees if you need to. Exhale, lower to your belly for cobra. Up dog, if you wish. Exhale, shift back and up to downward facing dog. Exhale it up. Lower the knees, child's pose. Reach the fingertips forward, lengthening through the side body. Exhale, walk the fingertips over the right side of the mat. Keep the forehead down. Breathe into the left lung. Stay with your breath. Begin to release with each exhale. And walk the hands back over to the middle of the mat. Lengthen here. And exhale, walk back over to the left side of the mat. Finding a right side body stretch. Right lung expanding into the right ribs. And inhale. Walk the fingertips back to center, child's pose for a breath. And inhale, slowly sitting up. Come to sit. Coming to the middle of the mat. Pull that right knee and extend the left leg long. I'm going to take a twist here. Now inhale, reach the right arm up. And circle it back behind you. Prop yourself up with your fingertips. Lengthen into the spine. Inhale the left arm up. And then hook that left elbow around the knee. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, twist, looking over your back shoulder. <sighs> twist from the heart. You can use your hands and your leverage of your leg to support and aid in that twist, but make sure you're twisting from the center, not yanking yourself into a pose. One more breath in here. Exhale, release. Lower that right leg. Sole of the right foot is now on the inside of the left thigh. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, drop that right hand, reach the left arm up, side body stretch. To exhale, cartwheel that left hand towards the left ankle. Reach the right arm up. Keep that right arm lifted. Slowly begin tilting it overhead. That's accessible for you. Inhale it back up. Hands to the mat. Turn to face forward. Bring the soles of the feet together for bound angle pose. Grab onto your ankles or your knees. Roll the shoulders down the back. Inhale, lift the heart. Arch the back, finding a cow pose here. And then exhale, hinging at the hips. Begin to fold forward over your legs, maybe clasping your feet and wiggling your elbows down the shins to help keep lengthening on the inhale. Exhaling, releasing through the groin, the inner thighs. Relax the head and the neck. Two more breaths here. Slowly come back up through center. And we're going to mirror the poses through the other direction. So bring the left sole of the foot into the right thigh. Inhale, reach the arms up. Left arm comes down beside you, right side body stretch. Exhale, cartwheel that right arm down the right leg, fingertips reaching towards the ankle, left arm comes up and open, breathing into that left side body, maybe bringing the left arm overhead. Then inhaling, lifting back up. 
lift that left knee. And here we are ready for our twist. So draw that left knee, that left ankle in. Inhale the left arm up and open around back behind you. Fingertips come behind the spine. Prop yourself up on it. Inhale. Reach that right arm up. Hook the right elbow over the knee. Inhale to lengthen the spine. And then exhale from your core, from your heart, twist. Use the leverage of your elbow and knee pressing together only to aid on the inhales of lengthening. Twisting from your center, from the inside, on the exhales, gazing over your back shoulder. You should be able to breathe easily here. If not, just gently release out of the twist. One more inhale. One more exhale. Gently release, extend the legs long in front of you, give them a little shake. And then bend the knees again, make your way to your back for bridge pose. Walk the heels in towards your hips, fingertips reach towards your heels. Make sure your feet are about hips width distance apart. Neck is relaxed on the mat. And imagine you've got a block in between the thighs, so you're energetically squeezing the legs together. Activate the glutes, squeezing them in. Tuck the belly button in towards the back of the spine. And then inhale, lift the hips up off the mat, creating space between your tailbone and the earth. Continue to lift up by pressing the feet, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the thighs energetically together. If you want to lift a little higher, you can clasp your fingertips underneath you. Wiggle the shoulders together. Press the forearms to the mat. Broadening through the collarbone, keep the neck neutral. Breathe in. Savor the exhale. Release your hands, slowly roll the spine down. Lengthen the legs on the mat, reach up overhead, take a big stretch. And then exhale, draw the knees in towards your chest, wrap your forearms around your shins, draw the forehead towards the knees, squeeze into a ball. And then release down to the earth, grabbing onto the knees, and take a gentle rocking left and right. And then reach between the knees to grab your ankles or your toes for happy baby. Widen the heels, widen the knees. Use your toes or whatever you're holding on to your ankles to pull the knees down. Lengthen through the spine. Try to flatten your back onto the mat. You're not actually physically able to do that due to the natural curves of the spine. But lengthening through stretching as if you could. Draw the shoulders down the back. Squeeze the knees down. Pull the feet down. Slight tuck of the chin. One more breath in here. Exhale, slow release. Extend the right leg long as you draw the left heel in. And then switch sides. Right heel, heel comes in. Extend the left leg long and open next to you. And then release, drawing the knees in. One more time, squeeze. Release the feet to the mat. Soles of the feet together, knees open. Bring one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. Settle in for a few moments of releasing away from movement, surrendering into stillness. Maybe closing the eyes, drawing that focus in towards the connection of the breath with the belly rising. Taking a final inventory of the body from the inside out. Noticing any changes from halfway through class or the beginning of class. Take a deep breath in, open mouth, exhale. 
Allow the hands to relax off the body. Begin to close the knees together and walk the heels towards the edges of the mat. Allow the knees to lower in towards each other. Finding maybe a low back release. Be here for a few rounds of breath. And inhale the knees back up, heel, toe, the feet back together. Reach the arms up and cross the arms and lower them to either side. Maybe wrapping your fingertips around your shoulder blades. And giving yourself a hug, feeling the space between the heart, between the shoulder blades. Feel that space expands on the inhales. Melt together on the exhales. Notice which arm is on top. And as you slowly release, unwind the arms, extend them out on either side. And then switch crossing of the arms. So inhale, bring the arms back together, wrapping them, crossing them. Wiggle the fingertips behind your shoulder blades or on the mat close to you. Inhale to the back of the heart space. Exhale, melt it down. Inhaling, feeling that expansion in the back. Inhale, the arms back up, uncross them, reach the arms up overhead. Lengthen the legs to the mat. Take the biggest stretch you can. Point your toes. Lengthen through the front body. Arching the back, reaching up. Big breath in. And let your exhale melt you down to Shavasana. Lowering the palms to the earth, relaxing the ankles and the feet like a leaf that just floated to the earth. Find your place on the ground. Give in to the natural rhythm of your breath. Soften the eyelids closed. Release it down. Release your thoughts. Allow yourself, as we began, to just be. I'll bring you back when it's time to close out.
slowly begin to bring yourself back to the awareness of your body on your mat, your presence in your space. And take some slow wiggles, your fingers and your toes. Bringing back to life. Rolling the wrists and ankles. And gently roll into one side of your body. Take as long as you need. When you're ready. Gently press yourself up to a comfortable seat at the top of the mat. Invitation is always there to remain in Shavasana as long as you need. When you're ready to close out, bring the palms together at heart center. Lower the gaze to the fingertips. Take a deep breath in together. Exhale it out. We'll close with our mantra. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. And may our thoughts, words, and actions in some small way contribute to that happiness and to the freedom of us all. And final breath in. Exhale, release the palms to the knees. Like open the eyes. Thank you for sharing your space, your practice, your sweat with me. Enjoy the rest of your day, your evening, and I'll see you next time on the virtual mat.